Now the body is all new and it is a MPV body but the front does remind me of the Ativa in the sense that it is a bit squarish and also the front is a straight down you know from the top down rather than the slanted one of the old Alza and of course uh, this one has got LED lights now some of the specs are different for each of the three variants as I said they have the X the H and also the AV but I know that uh, there are LED lights but I don't know which one exactly so you'll have to find out when we get to the actual vehicle test now uh, this is the front bonnet side and it's a bit shorter and it is straight up as compared to the slanted one of the old uh, Alza front wheels are 16 inch and ventilated this H and the AV get 16 inch wheels X only gets 15 inch and front suspension is McPherson struts now taking a quick look at the back the H and the AV also get disc brakes at the rear but they are solid disc and the rear suspension is torsion beam this is a Toyota engine because you know that Daihatsu and Toyota are both part of the same company so this 1.5 litre engine is the same engine that is built in the Nilai plant and it's supplied to the Toyota Vios and also the Myvi and now on the Alza 2 so horsepower is rated at 106 and 138 newton meters of torque the, <coughs> the slight torque differences are perhaps due to the plumbing and the way the engine is put into the car and drive is to a 7 speed DCVT that comes from the the Hasu family I don't know if this CVT is the same as the one in the Toyota series but uh, the whole body is built on what Dahatsu or rather Proda calls the DNGA or the Dahatsu new global architecture now we all know that this car is going to be the same or almost the same as the Toyota Veloz so they're gonna come from the same factory and uh, of course we also know that the Veloz is being sold at 95,000 ringgit and there's only one version whilst this Alza has three versions the X the H and the AV and other than a few differences the two vehicles are going to be very very similar and this is the boot area and so you can see that this is a two-seater in the first row three-seater in the second row and two-seater in the last row that makes it seven and these are the two rear seats <laughs> and they should fall flat yes they fall flat down there if we move the front seats a little bit forward yes so if you move the front seats a little bit forward the rear seats do fall flat here and this is what the five seater would look like and of course the middle seats also split and fold so do the rear seats so you can have many many variations here and down here we don't see a spare but perhaps it's at the bottom yes you may not see it properly but the spare tire is at the bottom and uh, this is the very very long cabin that you can see middle seats also slide forward and back so you can actually determine how much space you want in the seat and so do the front and this is the front seat possibly slid back all the way so i'm seated in the second row and uh, you can see there is room for my knees and of course the front seats and the middle seats also slide so how much space you want or how much space you get depends on how you place the seats here's the scenario inside on the second row so you can see here there's a aircon blower up here and this is where they suck in the air and then blows it back out so it's just a blower i don't think it's part of the aircon system but what it does is it actually recirculates the air and blows it onto the passengers so if you have the front louvers pointed upwards at this place this thing will 
suck in the air and blow it out here so that's quite a neat trick and this is the control up here there are three speeds for you to control the flow of air here's the interior of the car taken from the back so it looks quite attractive a quick look around it's a two-tone interior it starts with the steering wheel with steering control that is leather wrap I think and meter cluster is there I've seen the ref counter before it looks very much like what you see in the my V then you have uh, this one looks like a 9 inch infotainment system aircon louvers and down there is your aircon controllers and your engine start stop and your gear stick and for the AV model you get electronic parking brakes and that is the door lock button there and let's have a look at the seats for seats, I think these are leathered but they are two-tone and semi-bucket in design. Uh, you can see here an airbag here. And there are a total of six airbags for this vehicle. This is the interior of the car looking from this side. This is the second row. And you can see they are finished in the same dual tone. And there's, it's a three-seater but only two headrests so there's a seat belt anchor up there for the third person and also the seats also tumble like this yes so getting into the third row is very easy so let's see how the third row fares here i am in the third row now with the seat slit very far back there is not much space so you just have to remember how much space you want it depends on how you place the seat but if I slid it a bit forward then you can find there is actually space for me here so you can sit two people at the back and you can actually close the seat and here we go and there's just enough knee room in here let's have a look here yes very tight but this you notice that this seat is not slid forward yeah slide the seat forward a bit okay so if the seat is slid forward you still have a bit of knee room so you can actually have uh, I'm you might say I'm an average size adult lah. so we can actually go for lunch with seven people in this car okay now we're gonna show you how easy it is to get in and out see yep. okay this is a tumble seat and we just push the lever here forward and you can get in and out very very easily yep so down here you get USB ports and of course they have the regulation cup holders and bottle holders here so this is a very versatile family yeah that's a cup holder here and this is the oh it's a one piece glove compartment okay let's get into the driver's seat yes there's a cup holder here and let's check out the steering okay it goes up and down uh, no in and out yeah just up and down and steering is quite a nice shape this is about about 13 inch steering wheel and uh leather wrap very nice driving position is good you the seat is adjustable for height and also for for rake yep and of course four and half movement yeah okay gear lever looks pretty standard with the electronic parking brake for the av and uh, electronic controls for the aircon and of course the engine stop start button here can you start oops oops i started the engine <laughs> okay lock is here and you have a little cubby hole here yeah you have a cigar lighter and where are the usb ports one usb port here and i think that's it okay and we have of course a this is the front camera for the AV. So this is about all the time we have to do. Uh, there are a lot of people around. We promise you we'll give you a more detailed report 
when we actually get the car for the test and they've already promised me one to go and try it up the mountain okay so just to recap there are three versions available the x the h and the av prices are 62,000 plus 68,000 plus and 75,500 for the av it is still the most affordable mpv you can get very versatile and economical to run because it's only got a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated engine it's a lovely vehicle because it's built on the dnga which is very similar to the toyota uh, tnga because uh, the veloc and the alza are built on the same platform and save for a few variations the powertrain and all the other main stuff are the same so thanks for watching our video and of course if you need to know more about this vehicle do come to shop.yskongdriving.com or give me a whatsapp at 016-335-0609 all right guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye bye